Hey there, it's Katerina from the Metropolis of San Francisco Music Ministry. And today, we'll be going over the building blocks of Western notation. Let's start with the foundation of all Western notation, the staff. The modern staff is made up of five lines and four spaces. Each line or space corresponds with a white note on a keyboard, and it's on staves that music notes are written. In music, the notes correspond with letters of the alphabet. We have seven notes, and they're labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Once the sequence is finished, it repeats. The notes are labeled from the bottom of the staff up. Remember these three points moving forward. In order to read notes on the staff, we need a little more information. Clefs indicate note position on the staff. They show us which note goes where. There are two clefs we'll be focusing on, the treble clef and the bass clef. Before we look at the individual clefs, can you remember the three points about note names? We have seven notes labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The sequence repeats and we read the notes from the bottom of the staff to the top. Now I'll introduce you to the treble clef. The treble clef is also known as the G clef. Why? Well, if you look at the curl in the middle of the clef, it curls around a line. That line marks the note G. Now that we know where G is, we can fill in the rest of the lines and spaces. Remember, once the sequence of notes arrives at G, we start again from A. Walking up from G, we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Stepping down from G are F and E. Take a look at these examples. Each of them spells out a word. Can you name each note and figure out the hidden word? Remember, the curl in the treble clef curls around the line that is G. Walking up from G, the notes start with A, B, C, and so forth. Pause the video and take as much time as you need. When you come back, we'll go over the answers. All right, here are the answers. The first example spells cab. The second, deaf, and the third, bed. How did you do? Next up, the bass clef. The bass clef is also known as the F clef. See the two dots attached to the clef? The line that runs between them is the note F. Now that we know where F is, we can fill in the rest of the lines and spaces. Just like the treble clef, let's work our way through the note names. Walking up from F, we have G and A. Stepping down from F are E, D, C, B, A, and G. Look at the notes on this staff. Remember, once the sequence of notes arrives at G, we start again from A. Just like the treble clef exercises, each of these spells out a word. Can you name each note? and figure out the hidden word? Remember, the line running through the two dots of the bass clef is an F. Stepping down from the F, the notes are E, D, C, etc. Pause the video and take as much time as you need. When you come back, we'll go over the answers. Here you go. The first one spells bead. The second, bag, and the third, face. How did you do this time? Finally, when we put the treble staff and the bass staff together, we get the grand staff. Using ledger lines, we can extend each staff when we run out of room. Take a look at the example. The bottom line on the treble staff is an E. 
Locking down from that is a D in the space below the line. And the next is a C, using a ledger line to create the necessary extension. Looking at the base staff, we see the same thing. The bottom line is a G, the space below it an F, and the ledger line indicates an E. The same follows for above the staves. The top line of the treble staff is an F, the space above it, a G, and the ledger line above that, an A. The top line of the base staff is an A, the space above it, a B, and the ledger line, a C. The grand staff is connected by middle C, one ledger line below the treble staff and one ledger line above the base staff indicates the same note on a keyboard, middle C. It's in the middle of the keyboard. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on the foundation of Western music. Practice the information we learned today. We have seven notes and they're labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Once the sequence is finished, it repeats. The notes are labeled from the bottom of the staff up. What's the treble clef and bass clef? And what's a grand staff? Finally, how do we extend our staves when we run out of room? We add ledger lines. Join me next week. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.